One day later, hello everybody, I am the Vision of Chaos and welcome to another episode of Fire Emblem. In the last episode I left you off here to train some of my units. So I trained Urk to level 20, I uh, trained Altwin to level 20 and let him be a, and classed him up into a general. And I trained Florina, where's Florina, oh Florina you are here. To level 20. As you can see I bought some things from the armory which is over here and uh, basically that's everything that I did. I'm not going to train K Canis or Bartray because they'll be getting more screen time. I did train Raven to level 10 uh, and Lord Hector to level 10. But anyways let's get on with the show and talk to Fargus over here. Um, actually, do I want to do that? Oh well, I don't care. I need to make a bonus video about this uh, chapter later on, but I will do that in a, in a, on a different file, which you will see. Aha! You made it, Wilps! That was hard. <sighs> You'll give us passage now, won't you? I am the man. I am a man of the sea. I always keep my word. Are my old, old eyes lying to me? Is this beauty really with you? Ha ha ha! My lucky day. Listen, I know you at how you feel, but we have to accept it. We have no other choice. I know that. I haven't said a word, have I? Can we go to Dread Isle now? Please, Father, be well. And that is the chapter. I have another uh, chapter here, which I am doing just for fun, uh, playing, you know, because I wasn't be able to record this uh, this episode for very long. Fogus ship sails along smoothly. At last, they spot a fog and shrouded island on the horizon. Elwood's father is on the island, as on the island, as is the Dragon's Gate. As they draw closer to the isle, Elwood no longer fears that his father might be one of the conspirators. As the moment of truth nears, Elwood only prays that he is safe. Isn't that sweet? Oh, by the way, I talked about uh, the sports in the last episode, but I'm going to tag them on to the end of this video instead. So that's why this video is probably so long, because this chapter, as, as far as I can remember, is pretty short. Ahoy, laddie! You don't get seasick, do you? I'm fine, sir. This is a beautiful ship. Yeah! For a sea rover, huh? Rover? Rover? Whatever. May I ask you a question? What is it? Why did you agree to give us passage? When we said that we wish to travel to Valor, the people of the harbor treated us as though we were, ma we were mad. I'm sure they did. It's the Dread Isle, uh, after all. It's not for a good reason we wouldn't want to go to... If not for a good reason, we wouldn't want to go either. And yet you've given us free passage. Why is that? Listen to me, laddie. Men are strange beasts. We can't resist the challenge. Something appears on the horizon and we immediately set sail. Some dreams we conquer, others we abandon. I've grown old. I haven't had a good challenge in a many a year. The new moon calls appear, seeking passage to the Dread Isle. I am impressed with your courage. I think you may be the ones to survive the Dread Isle. We won't disappoint you. We will return. All right, then we'll weigh anchor and wait for you. Light the signal fire when you want to return, and we'll pick you up. Thank you. Captain, there's a dory adrift to port. It looks like there's someone aboard. What's your orders? Bring him aboard. Looks like we've got a visitor. Uh, an odd, though, finding a boat adrift near here. Odd? Why is that? The sea currents in this area. Anyone, anything drifting here must have come from the Dread Isle. Oh. 
Shall we meet our guest? Talking like this is annoying and hurts my voice. Hello, Woods. We're done talking to old man Fargus. You saw us? No. I heard you've gone off with him. You learn anything? We can trust him. We got lucky finding him. If you say so. Hey you two, come here. They've pulled the dory aboard. I wonder who's on board. It's a girl. Oi! You there! Me? Give me a hand, will you? I don't know what to grab her. Okay. Such the gentleman. Stow it. <laughs> Nanyan? Nanyan, wake up. Unbelievable. What are the chances? Do you know her? She she's how Linda's and I met a year back. I rescued Ninian from a band of villains. Please, Ninian, open your eyes! Ninian, can you hear me? Uh, uh, I... Are you well? Why were you on that boat? Well, Snails, why wasn't he with you? Uh, oh... Ninian? Lindis, something's wrong with her. Oh... Oh... Captain! Pirate ships approaching from the northwest. Do they dare to Captain Fargus of the Davros? They must be mad! MAD, I say! Wait, I already made that joke in the last episode. What flag are they flying? I've never seen that pattern before. These seas belong to us. Whoever they, whoever they are, they're in all waters. This is the day for stranger girls and sis, it seems. You whoops, what, watch your hide. We've no time to waste on you. Oh! Water! The hole's been breached! We're taking on water! Breached? The scums are more dangerous than I thought. It's bad, Captain. We, all, we need all hands below deck, so we'll sink. Take care of it. I'm going to carve these scalawags some new gizzards. We need your help. The water's up the galley. You must come down below, Captain. <sighs> Fargus? Leave the enemy to us. Fighting is... Oh, wrong voice. Fighting is something we're good at. But a sinking ship, that is who are fair. We have to do something. Overlord! We'll, we'll deal with these things up here. Please hurry. Fine, the deck is yours. I'll be back as soon as we pluck the breach in the hull. Breach in the hull! Go. I don't know where that's from. Lynn, take her to that room. I will. Here they come. Will we want this to go? Kill the rest! Why am I being loud again in this episode? I'm going to pick my unit and trade and such and then I will see you guys again in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.